What's up YouTube world? We're going to talk to you guys today about how we're going to be fitting um, some commercials into our YouTube channel because I need to promote my business and I want to promote my business within the business, right? A lot of people come to my YouTube channel, view it, about 150 to 300 people a day. So that gives me an opportunity to promote other outside businesses that I have, uh, affiliated marketing, drop shipping, things like that. So you're going to see a lot more of that. It's just something that I'm going to promote. Um, there's no other reason to not have it, you know. Like, why not? If I have a side business somewhere else to help me get through the winter when it's slow for me, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to tell you about different uh, things that you can do to make extra money. Forget about Amway. Forget about all these others. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about, like, DoorDash, Postmates, you know, real results. Like, how much can you make in a day? Can you only make $100 in a day, or can you make $300 in a day? And how do you do it? How many hours do you really have to work to do those? That's really important to know and understand, because a lot of these other people are telling you, you're going to make $25 an hour. You're going to make $30 an hour. Is that realistic? Or is it going to be $8 to $14 an hour throughout the day? Then you're making $150 for the day, because you worked, what, 10, 12, 15 hours? You... You gotta work smart, right? You gotta understand how these uh, systems work. And uh, like anything, uh, you have to have high ratings, like uh, five out of five, or more positive reviews, or quick delivery times, or uh, knowing what restaurants to go to so you don't waste a lot of your own personal time not being able to deliver, because sometimes they only give you one delivery at a time. So what? You take delivery in one hour, you don't want to make eight bucks? Forget about that. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to give you more information, and uh, commercials are coming. Thanks for watching this, and um, stay tuned for more. Thank you. YouTube World, want to talk to you guys today about the idea of why it's easier to rule a city, let's say be uh, mayor of the city of Norfolk. Why is it easier to do that than it is to have self-discipline, to control our our own desires, cir circumscribe our desires, and keep our passions within due bounds? Um, that might be familiar to some people that listen to that. But anyhow, I digress to a different area. The idea is real simple. We start the new year with certain resolutions. Go to the gym, lose 10, 20 pounds, maybe 100 pounds. You've been working on that for some time. New year, let's start all over. Let's try to do what we didn't do last year. Let's refocus ourselves. We have all these great goals, all these great ideas. Then we got, oh my goodness, we got Satan suggesting, let's not go to the gym. Or we got little ideas in our head, our th these thoughts that mm, we say are not our own, but we want to go and get some chocolate cake instead of going to the gym and working out, uh, lifting the 10, 12 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever it is, benching a uh, 250, benching a hundred, whatever your weight uh, limit is. Um, it's just... It's just interesting how it's easier to manage a city versus managing ourselves. The thing, I think one of the greatest things that we can do is to self-educate, to self-whatever. That controls our bad habits, to controls our desires, to keep our passions in a do-bound manner, right? What if, what if, what if we, oh, let's see today, what if we, That way. Does 
doesn't matter to me, bro. What if we have our desires and keep our passions within a certain new bound? What if we work things out to grow our business? Let's say we can control a team of 10, 20 people. We can manage their ability to not have um, come to work late, you know, get everybody coming on time, uh, going out there and pe being productive um, like 80% of the time versus half the time. Uh, what if we can get 10 new clients, 10 new accounts? I'm not talking about little ones that one-time deals, you know? I'm talking about something that's going to be business growing. What if we can go out there and get accounts that are $10,000 or more, you know, when they do a project? What if we get accounts that are repeatable? What if we get uh, home building accounts where we go out there and lay the sod for the new uh, development houses? What if we go... Forget about what if. What are realistic goals? Once we do all that, once we build our team and do all that, it's going to be a game changer. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good because self-discipline is so hard. How many times have we gone to church, but we weren't there? We were thinking about the game on that Sunday for the evening, or maybe during March, March Madness. We want to get home, we want to watch the game, uh, maybe we're rushing from work to somewhere else. You know, you're at work, you're like, oh man, I want to get home, it's Friday, uh, you're honking the horn to get home, right? There's all kinds of things. I think the greatest thing you can do with your life is self-control, self-development, self-improvement. Reading one to two book, excuse me, reading one to two books a day, not a day, a week. Ooh. Read one to two books a week. Is that hard? Not really, because if you think about it, you can listen to them. Is it the same as reading? No. But let's say you read and listen to books. That can be very helpful. Um, you can buy a book every once in a while and read as much as you can, then listen to the rest, or vice versa. Um, there's one gentleman I used to know. He, uh, What he would do is he would read the very beginning, right? The prelude, the first chapter, he would read some in the middle, then he would read the last chapter, right? The conclusion, and so on. I think the reason why he did that is because he had the uh, notion to just to get the point. You know, he, he didn't feel like, like he um, would browse a newspaper. He wouldn't read it thoroughly. Like, there are people that like, go into a coffee shop and they will read the New York Times. They will read the New York, New York, excuse me, New York Times. He, he won't care about it. You know, he will read uh, stories that interest him. He might read the headline, then read the first uh, couple um, paragraphs, then the very end. You know, I tend to skim them because I'm going to not read everything about a news article. I'm going to get the gist of it because I don't have all day to read every single newspaper. That's why I listen to the radio. There are services out there that will give you the breakdown of, it's kind of the cliff notes of the books that you had to write the papers on back in high school and college. Um...
I don't know, maybe I've gone on a tangent on this one, but there's some good points here. And uh, always remember, it's easier, it's easier to be the mayor of a city, to run a city, than it is to self-control. But if you achieve self-control, I think in most great religions, that's like the pinnacle, the pinnacle of, uh, of each religion is that self-control, that self-discipline. The Masons have it, Christianity has it, Judaism has it, uh, Buddhism has it, Hindu has it, and so on. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. Check us out for more. Thank you. What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about some of the interesting, exciting new things that I got going on through my YouTube website to help promote. Uh, it's going to help me uh, earn extra money to do more for the YouTube channel. It's called TravelAnyCountry.com. Check it out and save some money for your uh, summer plans this year. Thank you.